Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install and use a golden enchant. This plugin does what the name suggests. It provides you with custom enchants, which are simple to get, and that's about it. There's nothing extra to it. It's very customizable and has some awesome enchantments. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section, go over to the spigot tab, and search for golden enchants. Install the version that is compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you can download it from the plugin page and upload it into your plugins folder manually. Now, I'm not going to go over all of the enchantments as that would take forever, but I'll give you some examples here. These enchantments work like any other enchantments. You can get enchanted books, you can combine enchanted items in an anvil, and you can enchant items just like in vanilla. As you can see, this all works perfectly and there are no issues. Now, of course, you can disable some of the enchantments if you wanted. You can also customize how rare they are, what levels you need to get them in the enchantment table, and a lot more, which I'll show you how to change later. There are of course some commands that you can use as well. Slash G enchants will show you the menu with those commands. Now let me show you some enchantments at work by enchanting these items with the command slash G enchants, enchant, then the name of the enchantment, and then the level. The Venom enchant basically makes your weapon inflict poison effect, on whoever you hit with it. The smelter enchant goes on tools and would auto smelt things like ores. The sonic enchantment goes on boots and basically gives you speed as long as you're wearing them. There are of course other armor enchants as well. The gas enchant is a cool one too. It basically allows you to shoot gas balls from your crossbow or bow. There are a lot more enchantments and all of them can be found on the plugin page. Locate the config file in the plugins folder right here. And here near the top, you can change the tick time for arrow trails and passive enchantments. Next here is how many of these plugin enchantments can go on one item. Then whether you want the sword enchants to apply to axis and whether you want bow enchantments to apply to crossbows. Then here are some self-explanatory enchantment table options, and below you have the different tiers. You can customize this however you like. Finally, there's a list of all the enchantments this plugin has to offer. Like I mentioned previously, you can toggle them on or off here. You can rename them, define how rare they are, and just change all the settings here. The other thing you can do, of course, is change all the plugin messages, which can be done in the lang folder right here. Apart from that, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.